What's up guys, Matt here today back in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. If you saw the thumbnail, you know what we're looking for. Let's go find it. And here we have it, a very neglected Ford GT40 just sitting in the uh, auction junkyard here. I think this would, would be a really fun one to build and would bring probably very good profit. And it looks like most of the stuff's here. Look at this, let's get inside. Look at the uh, iconic GT40 interior. The dashboard. I love it. Let's try to uh, let's try to make a play on this. I have a feeling this one's gonna go pretty high. We're already at uh, thirty thousand. That just climbed. It just jumped up to uh, 34, 36. I think we're gonna be here a while. And I got it for sixty-five. What was the end? Uh, sixty-five ten. Not bad for a uh, Ford GT40. The car has been delivered. Let's do what we always do first. Send it over to the car wash and see what we've got underneath this thing. Start the car wash, accept. And let's see what color is underneath this. I thought it was like a gray. Nice. It's like a silver with uh, white stripes. I really dig that. Probably Oxford white. It was uh, one of my favorite whites was the Ford Oxford white. We might keep it this way. We might change it. Who knows? Let's get to uh, restoring this thing. Move it over to the garage. Lift A. I'm gonna pull off the rear clamshell here. Get that out of the way. Get our engine. Look at that. Love that. <laughs> looks so good. Uh, the GT40. Um, it looks like it's in actually pretty good shape. But of course, we're gonna want to go through this whole thing as we always like to do to try to try to get the most bang for the buck and upgrade. Uh, to some performance parts. So let's get started with uh, getting this engine out of here. And look at that, that's cool. The cherry picker automatically goes to the back of the car. Let's get uh, the gearbox disconnected. I guess this would be a transaxle for the GT40. And I wonder if we're gonna have to, we're probably gonna have to take the, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna have to take the wheel, the rear wheels and tires off first to be able to get to those uh, half shafts and get the uh, gearbox out of here. So let's go ahead and get these rear wheels and tires off of here. And I think we can just pull the half shaft now. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that. And we'll get to the rest of this stuff later. With that one removed, we can now jump over here and get our starter out of the way. Out it goes. And now we can remove the gearbox. Once we spray that little bolt there. I love the GT40. This is such a cool setup. A little bit different than what we uh, usually do. Which, uh, is cool. It's always nice to have something a little bit different. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, pressure plate and the clutch and all that. We don't need that. We're gonna upgrade it all anyways. This stuff actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. I wonder why uh, this car ended up in the junkyard auction or the uh, junk auction. Getting ahead of myself, I should drain the oil first. So that way we don't create a mess. Move it over to the car. Does it go to the back? It sure does, that's awesome. And let's uh, use the equipment. And there it goes. Now we're ready to pull, I believe. Down it goes. I don't see any uh, radiator back here or anything, so we don't have to pull. We don't have to worry about any of that fluid. Let's go ahead and pull it out, and out it came. No problem. No mess. Go put the engine on the engine stand. Go ahead and grab this rear muffler out of here, and let's get the battery on the charger before I forget that. On it goes. We'll get that charged up. I'm gonna drain this power steering reservoir before we pull that out of the way so we don't create a mess there. It looks like the coolant and all that stuff is up front. We'll get to that shortly. Go ahead and pull the reservoir while we're back here. We'll remove our front clamshell to get to that stuff. And we'll drain our coolant. And our brake fluid, get that out. Out it comes. And we'll spin around and grab our windshield washer fluid. There's the there's the radiator and fans. Duh, it's a GT40. While we're back here, might as well just go ahead and pull apart the rest of the uh, rear suspension here. We'll get our brake caliper off, our brake pads, brake disc, and our there it is wheel hub bearing. Get that out of the way, as long as well as the wheel hub itself, rear axle knuckle cover. We can pull our shock assembly out right there. And our upper suspension arm, out it comes, and we can get our lower, off it goes, beautiful. And our housing, that's that side done, on to the other side.
Now we can move on to the front. Get the front suspension out of the way. First, we gotta get our wheels and tire, wheel and tire off. Off it comes. Obviously not using the knockoffs, which you would typically use on a GT40, but hey, can't be too picky about these mods. This, this is a good one. That's definitely a good one. Wheel bearing comes out as well as the front wheel hub. I guess I should say DLC, not quite mods. I believe this was DLC. Shock assembly comes out as well as our front sway bar in link there, lower control arm. Pretty basic stuff up here. 1960s race car stuff. And off comes the outer tie rod to allow us to grab our steering knuckle there and our inner tie rod. That's it, on to the other side. And from here, we can pull our steering rack and our front sway bar. This is cool, it's got the fuel tanks on either side. Let's go ahead and pull those out. That one, and we probably, yep, gotta get the fuel pump out of that one. And then that one can go come off too. Might as well get all the rest of this stuff torn apart and yeah, stripped down to the bones. Power steering reservoir, fuse box. We just got some relays in here, nothing too crazy, and some fuses. Let's zoom in a little bit here. There we go. And this relay out and the fuse box base can come out. And I believe that's everything back here. Up here, we can remove our windshield washer reservoir, coolant reservoir, brake servo, as well as our radiator fan and radiator. I think that's it. Let's remove our windshield doors. Not really a whole lot here. We've already removed with the two clamshells gone, pretty much removed most of the body. Pull out the uh, seats and steering wheel. That's all she wrote. Torn down to basically just the tub. Milling down the uh, brake discs on the brake lathe. It's always nice to be able to sell these for, uh, for a little profit when you restore them. We're probably gonna use the performance brake discs, but it's always nice to be able to make some money there. All right, onto the engine. Let's start tearing this down. I love, love the intake and carburetor setup on this thing. It is just so cool. Let's get a air trumpet, they call it. Nice, let's get all these off here. From here, we can go to the carburetors. So cool. Just, this is so different. It's, it's cool to be doing something so different uh, in Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. I just love it. Hopefully there'll be a lot of uh, performance parts available for this. I didn't really think about that, but it should be. And there goes the last carb. Let's go ahead and get these exhaust manifolds off or headers, they really are. They're kind of in the way, take up a lot of space. So get this side off. If only it were easy, this easy in real life to pull manifold or header bolts. Let's get our ignition wires out of the way. We can get our distributor cap off. We'll get that clip and that clip and off she goes onto the rotor. And the distributor can come out. Let's go ahead and get the ignition coil out of the way as well as the fuel filter. And we'll start tearing off the front of the engine here. We'll go with the serpentine belt there. And then our serpentine belt there, as well as our alternator. Off it comes. Old school water pump. Very cool. Stuck bolt on the pulley, though. Off that comes. Now we get to the water pump. Another stuck bolt. Very old school setup. I love it. And power steering pump. After doing so many uh, overhead cam engines on here recently, it's been kind of nice to do these old school engines. Definitely a stuck bolt on the harmonic balancer. Off it comes. Now we can get to the timing cover, get the timing set out. After we remove these bolts and expose our timing set, we can get the timing chain out as well as cam gear. And then we'll remove the crankshaft when we get there. Let's start rebuilding or tearing down the uh, side of the engine here. We'll get the valve cover off. Stuck bolt there. And not too bad in here. Definitely some stuck bolts though.
Definitely nice to be back in Car Mechanic Simulator. I've been away for a while. Sorry for you guys that have regularly tuned in, but it's nice to be back. It always gets busy. Real life always tends to get busy this time of year, doesn't it? Get these push rods out of here. From here, we'll remove the intake manifold. The very cool intake manifold. Now we can remove our engine head. See what it looks like down in the piston piston chambers. And it looks really clean, actually. Very surprising. Very surprising. But it'll be fun to go through and freshen everything up. Be able to try to squeeze as much power out of this thing as we can. Now I'm just going to tear down the other side. And this head comes off and exposes some more clean pistons. Not bad at all. Let's get these uh, arms off of here. And we're good to rotate. Get to the oil pan here. Get the oil filter off. Oil pan. I love the sky blue color. Very cool. And then we've got our... It's really not bad in here. Not bad at all. We've got our pistons and our caps. So let's get our rod caps off. From here, we can remove our crankshaft bearing caps. Only got three of them. There's one. Here is two. And of course, number three over here. From there, we can just remove our pistons. There's one. They all come out. And now we can remove our crankshaft. And we're down to the camshaft and the block. That's it. All torn down. Before I forget, I do want to freshen up the uh, body tub here. Go ahead and use the welder. Get everything straightened out there. Looks about the same. <laughs> it can go back. Now here is the part of the video where I'm going to repair what I can and replace what I can't. And I'm not very good at talking while doing this. So I'll spare you guys and we'll jump to uh, when this is all completed. We are ready to start building our engine out. Let's start with our crankshaft. Then we can do each and every piston. I got a lot of upgraded stuff. I didn't have a whole lot of uh, scrap points left over, but I, I did upgrade the carburetors, uh, the heads, things that I thought, you know, more the most bang for the buck type stuff would be. So those definitely got upgraded. Um, tons of performance parts, though, for sure. So we're throwing pretty much everything we can uh, at this engine. So I'm excited to see how that's going to play out. Let's get all our rod caps and uh, crank shaft bearings on. Curious if you guys have watched uh, Ford versus Ferrari. If you have, leave it in the comments what you thought about the movie. I absolutely loved it because of the GT40, and there was a lot of a lot of cool stuff in that movie. Dug it a lot, but it basically gives a good uh, history of the GT40 and uh, trying to take down Ferrari, as if the uh, name didn't suggest. We get our performance heads on here, upgraded by one star at least. That's something, right? Get all the bolts in, and then we're going to have a fun time putting in each and every little push rod and rocker arm. After we get the I just remember we need to put the camshaft in before we do that. So we'll get this uh, performance header on, and then we'll stick our camshaft in. Let's get that in there. And it goes. Performance as well. Now we can do the push rods and rockers, and I'll spare you guys from that. And our final one goes on. We're ready for the head cover. This is kind of cool because it's going to be a mix of the light blue and then the performance parts with the red and the uh, aluminum and the shininess stainless steel here. Uh, it's going to be a cool balance. It's going to be a cool looking engine, I believe. Let's get our performance spark plugs in. And then we'll be able to build out the other side.
We are now ready for our intake manifold. Upgraded, of course. That was cool that they made uh, upgraded parts for the specifically, specifically for the GT40 engine. That is nice. You never know sometimes with DLC, if they'll include little things like that. It is cool that they did on this one. So we'll definitely be able to be pushing some more power and get our final carburetor on. Now we're ready for our, what do they call them again? Air trumpets. That's right. <laughs> ready for all our air trumpets. And this thing is looking so good. It's coming together for sure. Get our distributor in. Might as well throw on our timing set here. Get our cam gear on there and we can do our timing chain. Be able to put on our timing cover. All the bolts that belong to it. And there we can do the water pump and just build out the whole front of the engine. As you saw, I forgot to buy a crankshaft pulley. Get that on there. And now we can put on our serpentine belt. It's always something it seems like. And then our other serpentine belt. We can build out the rest of the ignition here. Performance rotor, performance cap. Can't forget the clips. There's one, spin around, grab the other. There it is, and our performance wires. I think, I believe, we've got it. That is a gorgeous looking engine, if you ask me. <laughs> that is awesome. I like the pop of pops of color, the pops of red, and how it all looks together. Very nice. We'll leave that here for right now and move on to the car itself. Start getting this stuff ready, like the uh, cooling, stuff like that. Get the radiator in. We'll need the fan shroud there with the fans. Installed. We'll do the uh, reservoirs, brake servo, of course. Moving on to the rear, we'll install our charged up battery and go ahead and do the fuses and relays. Get that taken care of. Box the cover on. We can do our power steering pump reservoir. On it goes. And we'll be pretty much ready for the engine once we get... Uh, yeah, we'll get that over here. Let's take care of our interior with the new seats and steering wheel. That's really all there is to this one. Send it up in the air and get work, get to work on our suspension. We'll start with the uh, steering rack and sway bar. Let's get the steering rack in, sway bar, and now we can build off of that. Front steering knuckle, all brand new, all brand new parts up here. I think that's how we're going to capitalize on our resale value. Make everything nice and new. Upgraded, ventilated brakes, brake pads. We'll get our caliper on, bolt it in. Now we need our wheel hub cap. I didn't put my bearing in, did I? No, I did. Ready for our bottom suspension arm. 16 total rubber bushings in the suspension of this one. That's a lot. Upper suspension arm. I think the most I've done is 22, I think. Usually it's around 12. Then we can tie into our front sway bar in link. We can do our inner tie rod as well as our outer. And that is that side built out. Might as well install our 315s. No, we want the 265, 45Rs. I went a little bit lower on the sidewall. They just looked too balloony for me uh, before. I like that look a little better. It looks sleeker. Looks good. Okay, on to the other side. That is the front built out. Let's go ahead and do our, while we're thinking of it, Install our fuel tanks. That's probably something I would end up forgetting after I move on to the back of the car and to the engine. Let's put our performance fuel pump in. Now we can build out the back. Start with the rear axle knuckle housing. We get our knuckle cover and we'll build all the way till 
the uh, half shafts because we're going to need the gearbox in to install those and we're going to need an engine in there if we're going to do that so we'll get as much done here as we can and just not do the half shafts Let's get the brake pads on brake caliper I think that's oh yeah obviously we're going to need control arms upper and lower and probably a shock assembly that would be nice back here would not moving too far too fast ahead of myself here just excited to drive this thing. I've not done the GT40 in CMS21 yet. That's all we need for now. On to the other side. We are ready for the engine and gearbox. That's exciting. Let's get this thing down and ready. Let's get our cherry picker over and in place. Grab our engine. Bring it on over. I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is going to be cool. All right, let's install it. That's the one we want. Indeed. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Okay, you can go back from where you came from. And let's get that gearbox attached. Or should I say transaxle? Okay. Let's get our performance flywheel and clutch set on here. Pressure plate. And we will need our throw out bearing. There it goes. And we are ready for our gearbox. I bought the upgraded one because uh, hopefully we're going to need to tune it. Hopefully it's going to be a ton of power and we're going to need to be able to tune our gears. Now we can do our half shafts in just like that. And that'll be ready for wheel and tire. Let's go ahead and throw it on while we're right here. And on it goes. Now we're ready for the starter because I'll probably forget it if I just don't knock it out right now. Then we can do the other half shaft and the other side. On goes the rim. All right, we're getting really close here. It's like a V8 go-kart right now. Let's go ahead and while we're able to access it, uh, get to our fluids and stuff like that. Let's fill up our power steering reservoir. Windshield wiper fluid, engine coolant, brake fluid, and of course the engine oil. Let's get our performance muffler on here and look at that. That looks so good. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, now we can start doing body panels. Let us uh, get our front clamshell on here. Left headlight, right headlight. I don't know if we're going to have a spot for a front license plate, which is fine. Hopefully the car will still 100% out without a front license plate. Get the mirrors on. The driver door. The rear clamshell. Rear window. I'm starting to think about what colors I might want to paint this thing. Do we go with the iconic blue and white? Or even the white with blue stripes. I like that. Yeah, we can put a plate on here. I just chose Arizona at random. So all you guys in Arizona, there you go. I believe that's it. That is it. We are 100%. Nice. Let's take this thing over to the alignment, get it aligned. And of course, we're going to have to do the dyno. That's <laughs> such a gorgeous look for a car. The GT40, what a legend. All right, let's get this thing aligned. Nailed it. Here we are in the paint shop. This is going to be a tough one because so many iconic. Let's see if we have any liveries. So the livery sets we have to choose from are either blue stripes, white stripes, black stripes, and that's it. I'm thinking we go with the iconic blue with white stripes. It's just such an iconic look for this car. It's nice that over here they have factory colors, so you can just go with the factory color. Oh, that one's that one's actually really cool. I'm really digging that blue, and we'll do the white stripes. And no, I'm not going to hum Seven Nation Army. Okay, there we go. Blue with white. I dig it. Let's paint it. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. It's probably going to look even better outside. This is a lot of carburetor tuning for this for this car. I think we are ready for the dyno. Let's see what we started with. 335 horsepower, 332 
pound feet of torque. Let's start the test and see how much of an improvement we have made on our classic Ford GT40. Here we go. It's sounding really good. And there's the rev limiter and we are at 578 horsepower, 552 pound feet of torque, which gives us an A drag rating. That's exciting. That's, that's, a, that's a gain of 243 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. And it looks absolutely gorgeous doing it. Brought it outside to look at it in the sunlight. Absolutely fantastic. I just have such a love for the GT40. Just, just the amazing, amazing lines. You know what we gotta do? We gotta take it to the drag strip for sure. All right, let's just take it to the King of the Sands. Quarter mile, obviously, A class. Let's see how far we can make it. We're going up against Batmobile, Arkham Knight. Okay, let's see how we do against the Batmobile. There it is over there. Thing looks heavy, so maybe we've got a shot. Looks like we've got a pretty low red line at 6,500. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, got to shift quick. And we are definitely walking the Batmobile. And we got him. All right. So at least we made it through the first round with a quarter mile time of 10 seconds, 10 and a half seconds. I'll take it at 137. He ran an 11.6. Next, we are going up against the Chevrolet Corvette C8. We have to, we have to win this one, please. There it is over there. Come on, GT40. Let's beat a Corvette C8. Oh, we're getting him. We're getting him big time. Oh, he's starting to he's starting to gather some steam. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Come on, come on. We got him. That was getting close. That was getting really close. We were pretty consistent. We ran another uh 104 with a reaction time. Oh, good reaction time on our side. Uh he did pretty good too. But yeah, it ran a 107. That was close. He was definitely faster than us at the end, 148 to our 137. So competition's picking up. Now we're going up against the McLaren P11. Let's take a look at that thing. Yeah, this is, uh, I think this is where we might meet our maker. Right there. Yeah. Getting our uh, left lane, which is nice. We've been good over here, so. Didn't red, red light it. Oh, I shifted a little early. Where is he? Is he just sitting there in that? If we, we're going to get him. We're going to get him. That's amazing. We beat the McLaren. We ran our best run yet. 1038. He ran a 1015. We were both at 138 miles per hour. How about that? We also had a lower drag rating. So that was cool that we were able to pull that off. The championship race Dodge Charger RT Dom Toretto against our GT40. There he is. Dom Toretto over there. Live my life a quarter mile at a time. Well, I do too. Let's do this. I red lit. Of course I did. And we lose to Dom. But hey, we made some money. 5,250. What an anticlimactic finish for me to go be an idiot in red light. I just really wanted a good reaction time on that one to try to beat Dom. I didn't think we were going to win that one anyway. Let's go check out top speed. Give ourselves a, <laughs> as much room as we can. This thing sounds really good. Listen. Absolutely gorgeous sound. Okay. Top speed time. 140, 150. Getting into some long gears here. I added, I added a couple gears to the transmission. We got a total of eight, 170, 180, 185. Can we still make it stop? 190. We got to hit the brakes here. Oh, I think we can do 190. I think we can do 190. 185, 6, 7, 8, 9, 190. Shut it down. Shut it down. And we're going to run just perfect. <laughs> wow. 190. I'm happy with that. It drives like a, it handles like an old, like an old 60s car. That's for sure. Kind of J turns. I got slicks on it, so that's not helping me out at all. What a car. 
What a car. I'd love to keep this one. I'd love to keep all of them, but we've got to keep going. We've got to keep getting some, some of those Ferraris and stuff I want to get and redo. So we do have to let this one go. Let's see how much of a profit we make on our GT40. A sell value of almost $200,000, $197,204, which gives us a profit of 132,194 credits. I am not going to complain about that. Sell the car, accept, bank a little coin to be able to move on to some really, really cool cars. Not saying that the GT40 wasn't cool. It is still very cool. Guys, if you made it this far into the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It helps me out tremendously. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.